Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're a fan of YNW Melly. Now some new very serious information has just been released in YNW Melly's court case, which is making it very possible that YNW Melly will now be serving life locked up. Now this is all due to the reason that the law enforcement has now found a super crucial piece of evidence of a recording of YNW Melly pretty much admitting to doing the act towards his two best friends, YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser on that night. Now I am going to be sharing with you guys the exclusive evidence that I don't believe has even been shared anywhere. Plus, so much more other bits and pieces of his court case that you need to know in this video. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way until the end, as this is not going to end well for YNW Melly. Now just about a week ago at the time of this recording, Many huge news outlets such as Complex, XXL, Dom is Live News, honestly the list just goes on and on, reported that there was a leaked video from 2018 that had been released of YNW Melly admitting that he did the act. So when you add to this video as well as all of the other evidence that is currently against him, this case is honestly getting very, very scary. Now YNW Melly has so much crucial evidence against him that things are just now not looking good. One of the more and crucial pieces of the evidence I've actually talked about before, I'll have a picture of it on the screen right now, but this is basically where they were all sitting in the car on the day it happened. And why this is so crucial is because them sitting in this car, and this is YNW Melly saying where they were all sitting that day, is because it actually proves that YNW Melly was with his friends Juvie and Sack Chaser on that day that they passed. And it's basically so important because the law enforcement are having a very hard time proving that anybody actually drove by YNW Melly's car to do the quote unquote drive by. And well, if they can't find a car by all the security cam footage on the stoplights and things like that, well, YNW Melly basically just proved to the law enforcement that he was there. And if the police can't figure out if any cars even drove by them, well, you know, put one and two together and YNW Melly could have possibly done it. Now, there's obviously that piece of evidence there, as well as the one that I'm about to share with you right now about YNW Melly basically admitting to committing this act. Now, make sure you continue watching because this is where it gets very, very concerning for YNW Melly. Now, obviously, I actually can't share the official video of YNW Melly admitting this because it is, you know, being involved in a legal court case and things like that. But some sources online actually released what YNW Melly said in the video, and I can actually tell you what he said. So it basically goes as followed, and just quickly, I do have to say I will be changing a few of the words that YNW Melly said in the video due to the word choices he made. But you probably understand what I mean. But in the video, YNW Melly says this and I quote, There's no regret for the stuff that I did for that man to pass. And then according to the description of the video, YNW Melly then puts up like a writing pen to his head as if it was a certain item. You could probably imagine what I'm talking about. Now with this video being found by who I believe was the law enforcement, but I'm not 100% sure on that, this is absolutely huge in his court case because with the first bit of evidence that I just shared with you and you add this with it, you know, it's starting to look very concerning for Melly. Now obviously when that video actually is cleared and it's allowed to be on the internet, I'm going to be sharing that official video on the channel. So just make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. And with this evidence being found, this could actually be the final straw in his court case. But 
just in case it is, I'm actually going to be sharing with you guys some new photos of YNW Melly of him in lockup. So just in case you forgot how he looks or anything like that, make sure you continue watching because I have some, you know, photos of him in court and things and you're not going to believe how he's looking these days. Now with YNW Melly being under lockup for so, so long now, a lot of people are just honestly forgetting about him and even what he kind of looks like because obviously with him being locked up he can't you know make those instagram posts he can't make music videos so a lot of fans might be you know starting to forget about him but luckily i actually have some exclusive photos from ynw melly's last court hearing i did actually have to search a lot through the internet to find these and I did want to share with it with you guys in this video. Now, as you guys can tell from these new photos of YNW Melly in court, these are the most recent photos of him in his court case. You can tell he is looking very confident in these photos about his court case, which is a pretty good thing. And obviously, tell me if I'm wrong, but it also looks like YNW Melly may be gaining some weight while in lockup. That definitely isn't a bad thing at all, as YNW Melly was one of, you know, the smaller types of rappers in the industry. So it kind of looks like YNW Melly may be hitting some workouts and eating some good commissary food while under lockup, as I'm pretty sure he will be buying commissary rather than eating, you know, the food that they have inside of lockup because it probably doesn't taste that good and it's probably not what he's used to eating so he's probably buying up the commissary you know that means a lot of honey buns snacks and things like that now as for some more photos of ynw melly and lockup these pictures were actually posted by his own management team now this was around a couple of months ago ynw melly got into a phone call with who i believe was his manager at the time and even by these photos you guys can tell YNW Melly remains to be happy and remains to be in good spirits about his court case, which is one thing that I actually found was very cool about this was that YNW Melly, you know, is keeping a good mind and a good attitude while in this court case while he does have so many things against him. So many people have actually counted YNW Melly out of this court case. And honestly, when you look at a lot of the evidence that has been shown, especially the evidence that I just shared with you in this video, I can understand why a lot of people have count YNW Melly out. But as I am a very huge fan of his, counting him out is honestly one of the last things that I want to do just because I do pray that he does get released. And if he does end up getting released, we're going to be having a ton of new music being released as he's already discussed this in many interviews that he is going to be releasing a ton of new music. YNW Melly has already announced that he, while in lockup, he's already written an entire album and now he's going to be working on his second album. So I'm praying that he actually does have the chance of, you know, recording that and having the chance of releasing it for all of us fans. But I am going to be ending the video here. If you guys are new to the channel, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're getting so close to a million subscribers, so if we can hit that soon, that would mean the absolute world to me. Anyways guys, it has been District Trending, and I'm out.